These are the solutions to the quiz at the end of lesson 5.1. Now number one, firstly we have sine theta is zero, so we have the force is zero, that is C. Number two, if the forces are to balance, the fields must be perpendicular, so that is D. And three, we have no speed, therefore no force, so that is A. Now number four, we have that the speed is 8 by 10 to the 6 metres per second. Force is 3.2 by 10 to the minus 14 newtons. We know the charge is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 to two significant figures. So now we have F equals B times Q times V. So B is F over Q times V. So now we just put in 3.2 by 10 to the minus 14 and our 1.6 and 8 by 10 to the 6. And that gives us a field of 0.025 Tesla or we could write it as 25 millitesla. Now question five, we have a charge that is now two times 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. So that is 3.2 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. R is 14 centimetres, so 0.14 metres. B is half a tesla. Now the mass is 6.64 by 10 to the minus 27 kilos. So if it's going in a circle, then the magnetic force is providing the centripetal force. So we have BQV equals MV squared over R. One of the Vs cancels out. V equals BQR over M equals 0.5 by 3.2 by 10 to the minus 19 by 0.14 over 6.64 by 10 to the minus 27 and that comes to be 3.38 by 10 to the 6 meters per second so 3.4 really by 10 to the 6. Now number 6 the first bit, we've got a voltage of 350 volts. That means our energy, the kinetic energy it will have, is 350 electron volts. Now to turn that into joules, we have to um, get a smaller number of joules, so we are multiplying by Q. So we have 350 times 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. So we have 5.6 by 10 to the minus 17 joules. Now that is going to be the kinetic energy, which is half mv squared. So we have v squared equals kinetic energy over mass. And that turns out to be, since we have the mass of an electron is 9.109 by 10 to the minus 31 kilos, we get V squared is 6.148 by 10 to the 13, and that makes V 7.84 by 10 to the 6 meters per second. Then quickly the second part of that we have radius of 7.5 centimetres and again BQV equals MV squared over R. So B equals MV over QR. 9.109 by 10 to the minus 31. We're just plugging in numbers here. 7.84 by 10 to the 6. Then we have the 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19, and it was 0 
0.75 meters and that gives us let's put it down here 5.9 by 10 to the minus 4 Tesla and finally number 7 we told that the mass of each drop is 8 by 10 to the minus 14 kilos the voltage was 11,170 volts at a plate separation of 16 millimeters which is 16 by 10 to the minus 3 meters so part A we've got the gravitational force pulling downwards and the electric force electrostatic force pushing upwards which equals E Q. Now it's a positive charge on that drop so the magnetic field must be pointing upwards for the force to be in the same direction. Now we have EQ must equal mg and firstly we need the electric field strength that is the voltage over the distance so 11 170 over 16 by 10 to the minus 3 and that is 6.98 by 10 to the 5 volts per meter which is in fact the same thing as newtons per coulomb if you look at their base unit so either unit is fine now we have that EQ equals MG so Q we just divide both sides by E and that will be 8 by 10 to the minus 14 times 9.8 divided by our 6.8 Nine eight by ten to the five. That gives us a charge of one point one two three by ten to the minus eighteen coulombs. And if that is the total charge on the drop, then the number of electrons is this charge over the charge on a single electron, and it is about seven point oh one. So it was clearly seven electrons that had been removed.